I'm gonna go ahead and say this right here. I know a lot of people are gonna be upset that I'm actually combing these out. And I would really encourage you to stick with me. Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is finally here. I've really actually been wanting to do this because in the videos previously, I started mentioning how my hair is actually starting to lock up and I didn't want to keep this set of locks. If you want to watch that video of me explaining uh, what the plan is and everything and my next steps, because just a little hint, I'm actually going to be getting freeform dreadlocks, but I don't want to freeform directly out of these just because I don't want to do a semi freeform look, which semi freeform is basically allowing the hair that I have now to freely form by itself. I would like to just freeform completely out of my natural curly hair. So allowing it to lock by itself without any maintenance whatsoever is the look I'm going for. Just because I want my hair to have its natural look and see how it forms by itself versus any sort of maintenance or any sort of method on how to get them. As you guys know so far, I started out with twisting with gel and I've had these in for a little over a month if I'm not mistaken and they are starting to lock up. And I'm sure if I would have kept these in for another, I would say two months, I would say definitely at the five month mark, these would be, I would say completely locked up to where, to the point of no return. And I mean that by, if I wash it, it's gonna be completely fine, which I have been washing it and it's, com and it's been completely fine. But I am ready to let these go. I had an awesome journey with this whole experience. It was really cool to see it, but I'm definitely ready for this next journey. And a lot of you are asking, why did I do this step? Or why am I doing so much to my hair? I answered this in another video, but I'm gonna reiterate it in this video. I do a bunch of stuff to my hair, like twisting with gel or doing different methods or doing different hairstyles is because this channel is mainly for showing you guys different hairstyles and different ways to do things with your hair. And I definitely wanted to show you guys how to start dreadlocks with twisting with gel and show you guys the whole process because I'm gonna take, I'll take my hair down right now so you guys can see what it looks like. But overall, if I were to keep these going, my hair would have locked up. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a second out of today's video and give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is LaRare. LaRare Shoes offers amazing quality shoes and crazy prices. One thing that I have noticed is they have an amazing customer service. And we actually ran into a problem with the shoes that we got Kellen with them being the wrong size. The beautiful thing is, is they do free replacements with any issues whatsoever, not just size, but if any other issues you have, they do free replacements. And also on the website, they have a live chat and a large selection of tried and tested products. I've looked at all of their shoes and they have a really great selection. I really like the ones that I chose for myself. And Kellen said he really, really, really likes his. He's actually using his for cross country. But these shoes are light, comfortable, durable, and overall just have a really awesome style. So I'm gonna link LaRareShoes.com down below. You guys can go check it out for yourself. And if you sign up on the website right now, I believe you can get 10% off your first order. So make sure to go check that out, guys. Let's hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Just for me being really rough with my hair shows you that these will stay in as long as you just pay attention to them. Like I hardly did any maintenance on these according to what my thoughts are. But overall, I did, you know, I washed my hair, I think five times along this process. I braided them once. I did four retwists, three of them without the locking gel. I got three fades, two of them from myself and one of them from Diddy. I crochet hooked my hair recently and then I took that out because it was actually locked up. If you wanna watch that video, I'll link it down below. I did an ACV rinse and I'm sure I did so many other things. And the reason why I do so much is because I like to try every little thing that you can do with your hair so that I can present it to you guys, tell you my experience. And if I got it down, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it myself. But you guys, in today's video, I'm using this water bottle, which I'll link down below. It's my favorite water bottle so far. I'm also using a rat tail comb to help out the process. Not sure if I'm gonna need this, but I'll keep it here just in case. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna go, but I'm really looking forward to having these all out. Not that I don't want to have uh, my hair like this or be down the road of dreadlocks. It's just because I'm doing this other journey that I'm really looking forward to. And when I start the freeform locks and then I end up having them, there's no return after that. Like the only way to get rid of those is what would be to shave my head or cut my hair and then comb out what the rest is. But that is a journey that I got to prepare for mentally just because of all the factors that go into it. But you guys, let's get started. I'm going to take off my glasses. If you're wondering why my glasses are tinted, I mentioned it in a video, I think four videos ago, but I explained why I have the tinted glasses. But let's go ahead and get started. These ones on the front are not as locked as the ones on the back. So it's really not gonna take long. I'll be honest with you, they're not completely locked. If I would've let these sit in for a couple more weeks, they would've definitely locked up and had some knots in them. But I'm just gonna start out by combing them out from the tip all the way down to the root. 
and then I'll just brush it with a detangling brush at the very end, which I'll link the detangling brush down below as well because those are super handy if you have curly hair. I have a feeling that a lot of hair is gonna come out just because your hair sheds so much and when your hair is in locks, you, it doesn't allow it to shed at all because it holds all of your hair in the lock. Like seeing my hair, this is the same feeling I had when I brushed my hair out the first time. It's just so relieving because a lot of you asked, I thought you wanted your curly hair, that's why you combed your hair out. Why are you going back to uh, the locks? And I mentioned, um, and even in the beginning, I said it was a series that I was doing. And I wanted to show you guys, most of all, how to get locks with twisting a gel, the original way, or I would say the classic way of getting dreads. And that's what twisting a gel. But already some hair coming out. This is just hair that naturally falls out all the time. It's not breakage from combing or anything like that because there's not any pulling on my hair right now, especially because they're not completely locked. But there are some knots in here that I'm getting through. But yeah, it feels really good. If only it was this easy when combing out my actual dreadlocks the first time. But I do want to clarify for anyone who's watching and saying, why are you doing so much to your hair? I hope if it didn't answer the first time, I'm gonna say it again. I do these videos so that I can inform you guys and show you guys how to do these hairstyles and these different things that I do. I already combed out one, here's the second one. But um, yeah, I do it for you guys. Each episode, take it as its own. If I'm doing a series, that's the, usually the time that I'll be doing, you know, one hairstyle or sticking to one. This is actually one I crochet hooked, so we'll see if it's any tough, if it's tougher than the rest. I'm already noticing that it's a little tough to get through. But yeah, I do these for you guys, 100%. I will say that this is one of my favorite series to do out of all of the ones I've done so far. I'm really looking forward to getting freeform dreads because that one's gonna be a long process. It'll be in the years for sure um, to see how much my hair changes because freeform locks, they do so much different things that I'm really looking forward to seeing. But comment down below if you are excited for the freeform locks. A lot of people are like back and forth. There's so many, there's three different crowds that I get on this channel. There's people that want waves, there's people that want dreadlocks, and there's people who want curly hair. So it is kind of tough having that split of a crowd, but I'm really stoked on the people that come to watch me just for me. And that means a lot. It's kind of one of those things, it's like you, of course you go to school, like YouTube is the school, but then everyone has their favorite teachers. And it's, it's really cool to be one of those, what you call favorite teachers. That's what I'm feeling. But my hair is really oily. I didn't really expect that, but it's actually kind of interesting how oily my hair is. But yeah. Ooh, I feel like my hair has grown in this month. And of course it did grow, but it felt like it grew a lot. Let's move on to this third one. I am really glad that these aren't locked up completely. I'm just taking it step by step. This one's kind of locked at the tip. This one had some lint in it or something. But it's surprising how quick these locked up. I didn't think they were gonna do anything to tell you the truth. So this kind of bumped a myth out of my head about twisting the gel that it takes really long. And to tell you the truth, it happened really fast. They started locking up really quick. They started forming really easy. And this is, these are things that I didn't expect back four years ago when I started my dreads the first time. And it's really cool to see how this actually all turned out and worked out because I didn't expect this. Because I guarantee you, if I would have kept these in for two months, it would have been the same as how I didn't wash my hair for two months when I first started dreads, that they would have probably been locked at the same level with them both being locked for two months. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right here. I know a lot of people are gonna be upset that I'm actually combing these out. And I would really encourage you to stick with me, um, mostly because this isn't the end of a dreadlocking journey. And I can honestly say like at the overall picture when I'm done and when I have the freeform locks, I wouldn't even say that the locking journey took a pause or anything like that. Um, even when I combed them all out, I think since I still have the same set of hair, I would look at it as a bigger journey than just a locking journey but it was like something even bigger because I mean, from jump, I've always liked the freeform look and I eventually wanted to get freeforms and that I know that I am gonna get them. I don't look at it as something that stopped or paused. I think it's just an overall journey in itself, which it's just like life. Life has different turns and things that happen that are unexpected. Being able to do it all with your hair, um, you realize how much almost anything can tie into your actual life. And hair is a huge thing that I can tie into my life personally. And that's the whole reason why I started the Beyond the Roots series on uh, the Great Locks channel because I feel like people with dreadlocks have 
sort of, I would say even a testimony that goes along with their hair that matches their life. So it's really cool um, seeing all that. Cause I know people that have gotten rid of their dreads um, mostly because of the transition that they made in their life. And I could say that was for me as well. And I know people that are getting their dreads back because it's a transition in their life. And there's so much that really goes into it. But you guys, I'm gonna speed through this process cause it is taking a while longer than I expected. I'm just gonna comb through the rest of these and then I'll see you guys when it's all complete. All right, I feel like this will go a little quicker if I actually hop in the shower and try to comb them all out. Um, so I'm actually gonna go do that. I think it'll just be easy to have all my hair wet, comb through it, and then be able to wash my hair, and then I'll show you guys what everything looks like when I'm complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because this is taking really too long. Longer than it should. A lot of hair is coming out. Not too much though. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am completely done combing out all of my hair. I actually showered afterwards, so this is why my hair is actually pretty wet right now. Um, I put some product in afterward. I used some Texture ID styling cream and you can pick that up down below. I'll leave a link to that. But overall, I'm feeling pretty good. I felt like combing out my hair the first time, like such a relief. Not necessarily that I wanted to get rid of my dreadlocks, but you know, doing that whole new step. So I am still in this kind of transition stage of, you know, not necessarily figuring out what I'm gonna do next because I already know I'm gonna do free forms but I'm kind of just in a standby state, but now I will be able to start the process of the freeform look, which I'm super excited about. But you guys, this is what everything's looking like. Um, like I said, everything's pretty damp. And after this dries up, it's gonna be more puffy. Depending on how that looks, I'll probably just keep it like that or pull it up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing any braiding on my hair for a while, just because I had my hair in the starter locks for such a long time but I would like to try some braiding hairstyles with my tapered hairline just because I didn't get to try any out so far. You guys, that's today's video. Hopefully you did really enjoy it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your honest thoughts. If you guys are upset that I got rid of those, let me know, but if you're excited about the free forms, let me know as well, because those are gonna be coming real soon. I'm really excited about everything that is gonna be happening here in the near future. Hopefully you guys are excited as well, but this is all one big journey, which I've been mentioning this whole time. And then that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.